but the weekend's mine. Monday to Friday is your own free time. But when Saturday comes, I want you towing the line. You can have the week, but the weekend's mine. All mine, the weekend's mine. I knew when I met you, it was gonna be tough. I mean to see you enough. Now I have made a plan that you'd see us right. It's something that just came to me late last night. So keep on smiling, honey, and we'll give it a try. Listen, you can have a week, but the weekend's mine. Monday to Friday is your own free time. But when Saturday comes, I want you to wear the line. Hey guys, welcome to the Two Ocean Vibe Show brought to you by Levi Strauss and the Get Rid of Your Jeans for Good campaign. Today we're with two fabulous people. The first one needs no introduction, but I'll tell you anyway. It's Bob Skinstad, Two Ocean Vibe character, ex Springbok player, Springbok captain, Stormers marketing genius, pin up poster rugby boy, karaoke champion, bar fly, and my very good friend. Welcome to the show, Bob. Thanks very much. Good to be here. And on Bob's right, my left, we've got uh, one of the hottest chicks in South Africa. In fact, I'll go even further and show you this and tell you that she's actually the hottest chick in the world. Lyndall Jarvis, welcome to the show, Lyndall. Thank you very much. Check this out right over here. This is the <laughs> FHM Top 100. And we're just going to flip through all this nonsense and take you straight to where you need to be, <laughs> which is right there, number one in the world ever. Here we go. Uh, Lyndall's taken over from Tracy McGregor, who was last year's champ. Is uh, Tracy a friend of yours? Yes, she is. Nice. Was good. she angry? <laughs> no, I think she was relieved. <laughs> was she what? It's quite a lot of work. I said, was she angry? I <laughs> <laughs> said, no, relieved. Has anyone ever won two years in a row? Not that I know. Uh, quite interesting that she dropped to number at, um, 10 or 11. I don't know how that works. I don't know how it works. Yeah. Uh, but our last, our last uh, weather girl was actually uh, uh, Daniela, uh, Gabriela Dimitriotis. Do you know her? No, I don't. Nice. No. Number two. Uh, yeah, no, 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 number two. Unaware of number two. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it doesn't matter. Such a gap yeah. between one and two. You yeah, don't even see the other. Exactly. You don't even see the other people down there. Um, <laughs> Lindo, you were away recently? Yes, there was. I was in Mauritius. Was that for work or for... That holiday? was for holiday. And something fairly special happened there? Yeah. When you show the cameras? Come Can on. we see the rock, Can please? Okay, okay, check that out. <laughs> Lindo Jarvis so is nice. engaged. Um, I know the boyfriend, the uh, fiancé, sorry, Denton. Um, He's uh, at work, obviously, if you look at that rock, <laughs> he's, he's not available yet to you. Um, so, Lyndall, I was doing some research mm. on you on the internet, and it turns out uh, that you were in a video game. Yes, I was. What is the name of that game? Metal Gear Solid 4, Guns of the Patriot. Nice. Is that like a shoot 'em up type game? Yes, definitely. Yeah, I'm one of the Bob, bad girls. Bob, do you play these games? Do you? Yeah, I'm not so good. Um, PS3, I think, has got Guns of the Patriot. PS2, I had... had PS2? Yeah. What do you have on that? Do you have any games? Uh, we had... What was the... Uh, not Metal Gear, the one before. Uh, Solid Snake. Solid Snake? Same guy. Uh, yes, same guy. The same it's guy. the same yeah. guy. Yeah. He's yeah. my uh, enemy. Is he your enemy? Snake's my enemy, yeah. Really? Yeah, he, he was comes and kills me, or tries. Pretty heavy guy, Snake, yeah. eh? It's looking a bit old, though, huh? Is it? Mm. What is your name in the game? Laughing Octopus. Oh, really? <laughs> The laughing octopus. The laughing <laughs> nice. octopus. How do you do it with just the four limbs? Uh, <laughs> well, I'm kind of a machine octopus. Okay, how do they do it? Do they like film you beforehand? Do you have things no, attached? No green screen? Or? Not really filming, more just photos from every single angle mm. of different expressions. And then they sprayed me with like fake sweat. <laughs> nice, nice. Yeah. And I saw that um, the one YouTube thing has got um, just the making of it or something. It's just your bum. It's like a minute and a half. Yeah. Why is it? That's really, really sad people taking my image and making their own little videos. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, do you get a lot of freaks? I've had some very weird stuff. Yeah. Really? Especially to do with this game. Emails, I mean, letters. But uh, that's a whole different world. Eh? That's yeah, not really like the paparazzi. It's strange sometimes. Hold up in a little dark room somewhere. Yeah. Playing exactly. games all day. Yeah. Sending messages like, oh, well, oh, hey, Lindell, how are you doing? Today I killed you. It was amazing. In the game, oh okay. my god. I'm like, oh, yeah. Where, what <laughs> message to the game or to your email? Email to my Facebook. If they send in, tap my name and then send these really straight messages. To your Facebook? Yeah. Jeepers. Jeepers. Um, Bobby, didn't you have a weird psycho once, like a few years ago? I still got one. Oh, really? Is mm. it here still? 
Mm. In the same way. Yeah. Mm. Marry me, bro. It's like, it's the worst thing in the world because if you had a stalker, you'd at least want like a cracker. <laughs> bird, like yeah, stalking. Yeah. Like, yeah. Living with a stalker, I, I'm leaving. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, fine, oh, I've got a stalker, I'm going to have coffee. She's now. awesome. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's fine, she's awesome. But I've got a, I think she used to work at like Telcom or something like that. So every time I change an email or a, cell phone, home she number, knows. she gets it and I get like calls, hi, how are you? That's she ever, weird. Yeah. Has she ever sent you stuff? Yeah, I've, I've had a couple of home visits. No. Mm. I've had to, like, on your birthday the one year? I've had to like hide. I remember. Look out the window, I'm not here. That's wild. Eh? Mm. It's but it's not too bad. I mean, I, I think I think she's actually probably just a little, she's probably just a sweet yeah. little sort of middle-aged lady. And that's lady. not linked to like a video game like Lindell's were you involved in a game at all? Have you been in a no, game? No, no, we did. Um, the only one was at uh, EA Sports did a, a rugby game. Uh, like a World Cup type sort yeah, of thing. Yeah, yeah. but we, we were, th the Springbok team was crap at it. Jonah Lomu was like their big front guy, yeah. and he used to beat us up. Yeah, so I had <laughs> like, to so stop playing. Like twice the size. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You couldn't like get past him. And we're seeing a lot more of you on TV at the moment. I see you've joined the boys on Supersport. Mm -hmm. How's that going? It's good, I'm enjoying it. Now, you, uh, compared to me, you are. You are a lot taller than me, uh, Thanks very much. visibly uh, larger. Uh, would you say that the ratio between us is the same as you and Quibbers? Uh No, I'm probably I'm probably uh, smaller than I am. You know, dimension-wise, no, Quibbers is probably two. You know, I'd be I'd be another foot taller compared oh, to. Oh really? Yeah, he's huge. Is he huge? Yeah, he's a lovely he guy, huge? but he's at what? He's 155, 157 kilograms. Good How many of that? So, like four of you. Yeah, there we go, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, Quibus is 155. What are you weighing in it now? I'm um, 106. Nice. Would you say your head is roughly half the size of his? <laughs> uh, no. No, he's got a brush cut, so it makes it... Sure, sure. Yeah. He would actually be a good guy in a game, like, like the final stage. You know? Yeah. Yeah, it beats him, it beats the octopus, and then you get Quibus. Well, the new snake, hey? Because snake's going to have to retire. So is, there a yeah. is there a new snake? No, no, no. Quibbers would have to be a bad guy because he'd beat it. Uh, yeah, a guy like the snake would have to, like, have three or four lives to and take him out. I mean, they're suits. So where do you get them from? Are they sort of tailor made? It's not something off the shelf. Yeah, it is. Hey? It really? is. Yeah. How tall he's quite a. His he's jeans tall, I mean, he's six foot six, six foot seven. Six foot seven. Jeepers. Oh, Maybe nice. more. Which actually reminds me of uh, this new Levi campaign, and the reason why we're here today is just to mention this uh, Levi Get Rid of Your Jeans campaign. Have you heard of it, you guys? No, I haven't. Have you heard of it, Bob? I think, uh, yeah, I've seen, I think if it's the same one that I'm thinking of, I have. How it works, Lindell, is there's this, uh, this place in Darling, it's like a welfare charity home kind of place for kids, and it's, uh, it's linked to Rocking the Daisies oh, okay. um, Festival as well, which I'm sure you've heard of. Have yeah. you been to it? Man. Last year, yeah. yeah. What they're doing is with Levi, you can take your old jeans, it doesn't have to be uh, Levi, take them to any Levi store, drop them off, and you'll get between like one and two hundred rand, depending on the jeans. That's what I'm saying. Chris's jeans, you'd probably get a grand or something. But <laughs> you know, um, they pay up to two hundred rand for your old jeans, and they give you a two hundred rand voucher to use in a Levi store. I mean, loads of people have got spare, spare jeans. I've got tons. Uh, I think I will be doing it very soon. I don't know if they'll take us uh, shorts. Bob, have you tried? Have you gone to um, drop off your things? I have. Really? Mm. But those are the ones that I saw here. Yeah. yeah. Let's just actually get a little look at those. So those are my outlets. Yeah. Yeah. Let's have a look at these things. <laughs> <laughs> Do you actually wear these? Uh, we are actually. <laughs> I'm not going to answer that. that good? No, I'm just telling you what I'm saying. But I'm sure they will accept them if you actually made an effort, Bob. But uh, it's uh, very interesting. Look at all those. Shorts that you got on, I don't know if this can, if this can, you know, Fifty bucks. kids won't, <laughs> they won't help the kids at all. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty interesting, that whole thing that they're doing. Um, so, if you guys have a chance and tell a dent as well, just to uh, any spare jeans, take it through to the nearest Levi's store, drop it off, and they'll actually pay you for it. I think it's a great idea. And uh, they're like paying you, it's amazing how they're paying you to get good karma. It's quite, it's quite cool. Huh? How's your karma looking? Well, it's been a good year, so I think I've done something right. Okay, good. Well, yeah, yeah sure. Well, the best you just maintain. Yeah, absolutely. Bob, how's your comment? 
Yeah, on medium. I think I'm going to drop my jeans off just in case. Just uh, a back pant, stop pant, back pant. I think you should. Before we uh, wrap up, and then uh, Lyndall will be doing the weather for us. Before we wrap up, uh, Bob, just one more thing. The website that you're working on at the moment, have you got, um, you mentioned it to me outside in the foyer, something about a new website, a rugby zone, something like that? What's the story that you're doing? No, nothing. I just said that I've been doing some of my own blog. Uh, blog? Mm. Bob is a blog, which is uh, what uh, Two Ashes Bob is. Uh, have you thought of a crafty name for it? Anything smart? Yeah, we've spent ages going on, so we came up with Bob's Kids Lab. Brilliant. That's good. Yeah. That's very really good. good. You see what I've done there? Yeah, I, did no, that. I do. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's amazing. It's so good. Bob's Kids Lab. Doc Check that out, guys. Bob's <laughs> blog. And what to talk about? Just. We actually run some competitions, some guest to score uh, competitions around the test matches, and then I do some change room interviews and nice. stuff with the players before and after. Nice. Linda, do you have a website? No, I do not. Facebook, no she's got a Facebook page. She's got a Facebook, you can stalk yeah. her. <laughs> stalk <laughs> if you want to stalk Linda, that's where you go. <laughs> stalk the Linda. Oh, awesome, uh, thanks, guys. <laughs> has no one bought Linda Jarvis? Stop Kota ZA? No. <laughs> mm. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> good. No, serious? Not? No, 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 we're trying. Yes, I'm going to nail that one <laughs> quickly. Okay, guys, um, thanks for joining us. We're going to move over to the weather with Lyndall Jarvis. Thanks, guys. Hi there, I'm Lyndall Jarvis, and this is the Two Oceans Five Weather Report. Right, kicking off on Friday. So, 40% chance of rain in uh, this entire area, and it's partly cloudy with northwesterly wind, not easterly, it's westerly. And the temperature, we're sort of heading towards the 20s now because it's getting a little bit warmer, well we're hoping. Okay, on Saturday you can expect much the same as Friday, but there's going to be an increase in wind. So obviously there, there's going to be some nice swell for the surfers in uh, this area, along the coastline obviously. And on Sunday the weather is going to suck, so I think we should all do some retail therapy. I know I'm going to go down to the waterfront and take my jeans to Levi's. And that's this weekend's weather report. Thank you, Lyndall. Thanks for joining us, guys. As usual, with the weather girls, we need a check if Lyndall's got the dimples of Venus. Let's have a little turn around there. Lyndall, bang, bang. Very nice. Bob, why don't you come say goodbye to everyone with us? Enter stage right. Very stage nice. Right. <laughs> yeah, very nice. A little slap, snap, and fisties. Bang, bang. No, bad. Again. Bang, bang, bang. Can you do it, Lyndall? Uh, probably not. Try it out. Slap, snap, and fisties. Oh, it's very cool. cool. Nothing hey? wrong with that. So yeah, guys, thanks for joining us. It's been a great uh, show, and I'll be heading to to take my jeans to Levi. Bob, are you going to do the same? Yeah, definitely over the next week or so. Why don't you Why don't you do it this weekend? Why don't? No, no, I, I will. I just I've, I've only got one pair of jeans here, except for my um, cutoff ones. So I'm I'll be going. I'll be going today. I can take those. I think you should. I think you should do it now. You think so? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'll no. yeah. Yeah. Like, I can't go home in my underpants. It's for the kids. Oh, it's for the kids. Come on, you have to. Come on, it just is. take them off. It'll be fun. It's for the kids. Come on, yeah. Yeah. good boy. Beautiful. What kind of shoe is this? <laughs> <laughs> so, well, I mean, Linda's nearly naked. Do you yeah, mind? No, 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 no. I'm gonna bring you go. I'll be married. taking mine in later. Okay, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> what a good sport! Can you there believe you it? Go. Okay, you can, yeah, I'll you take, take them in. Okay. And you can keep the belts, okay. Thanks. <laughs> this was very nice to talk to you. That's very kind right. of you. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Cool. Thanks for joining us, guys. Ciao, ciao. You can have the week, but the weekend's mine. Monday to Friday is your own free time. But when Saturday comes, I want you to in the line. You can have the week, but the weekend's mine. All mine. The weekend's mine. be tough to make time to see you I mean to see you enough Now I had made a plan that you'd see us right It's something that just came to me late last night So keep on smiling honey and we'll give it a try Listen, you can have a week but the weekend's mine Monday to Friday is your own free time 